Welcome to the Design House Digital Getting Started in Digital Scrapbooking Series with Jen Allison. This is a quick video on one way to participate in Project 365 this year. I'm going to show you a simple album template available at Design House Digital that will allow you to quickly input your January photos. The template that I'm using is the Design 365 January Album Template by Jen Allison. These basic principles apply to most templates as well. Let's get started by opening your first file, which is album1.psd. And you'll see here that we have this very basic layout and you can see all the different layers and move them around uh, to customize this template as much as you would like. Now, with um, most templates, you're able to hide or show uh, all the different layers and you can input different backgrounds, different patterns, bring in as many different elements as you want. Let me grab my photo from the project bin and drop it into the document. So here it is, and I want it to just fit nicely in that green masking layer. So I'm going to layer it directly above and then hit Control G to constrain the mask. So now you can see I can move this photo around anywhere inside that area and it's only going to show the masked off green area. Now my date stamp is not the color that I want it to be since it's not showing up. So I'm just going to simply click on the layer, go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and it will give me this picker and I can choose any color I want. Just choose and select OK. So now I've got this solid layer and I need to make it a mask by hitting Control G. So now it's black, but I don't really like it. You can see I can move it around, but it's still a little bit hard to read, hard to see. So I can go ahead and click on the layer mask color and choose a new color and I just drag it to white and select OK. So now that it's white I like it quite a bit better so I'm just going to tap it up a little bit to be in the position where you can read it a little bit clearer and I am good to go. So now I want to open my second page of my template album2.psd. So you see we've got basically the same idea but this template has three photo spots. So I'm just going to minimize that so it's out of the way and I have my photos already ready and so we're good to go. So I'm just going to select the layer I want to mask then drag the photo in so it appears directly above that layer. You can see it's quite a bit larger than I want it to be and so I need to shrink down the photo and so you can see I've just made it smaller and then I'm dragging over the space kind of eyeballing exactly how big I want it to be and the placement and as soon as I like it I can hit Control G again uh, making it a mask and there it masks off the areas that I don't want to show. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly do the same thing with the other layers. Click on the layer that I want to cover then drag the photo in, shrink it down to size and once it's down to the size I like it I can kind of place it, eyeball it and size it. This is a really you know, quick way to get your photos in using layer masks because you don't have to worry about um, any areas that you don't want to show. Uh, they just get hidden really quickly. You don't have to um, crop things down or anything like that. The Clippy mask does it all for you. And here I am with my third photo, dragging that in. And this photo is a little bit dark. I, I would normally change the levels on it. But since I'm just clipping out this small area, I don't really need to because the area that I'm showing is bright enough. Uh, so here I am with all the photos in, but again, I need to change the colors on the date stamps. Now I could place them outside of the photo area if I didn't like the interaction, but I, I like them inside. It makes it a little bit cleaner. So I'm just gonna do the same thing again. And this time I'm going to select the color uh, in the color palette first, then going to layer, new fill layer, solid color, pressing OK. So now I have white, I do a mask with Control G, and uh, now my layer is white. So I'm just going to do that quickly to all of them to make them all white and see how I feel about it. So you'll see the three and the four are already white, and I think that looks so much better already. So here I am 
with the two and control G. And so with the two, uh, it's not showing up quite as well as I'd like it to. So I think I'm going to move it around, see if there's a good spot that I like it at that works with the white. And if not, I can go ahead and change the color by just selecting that color and uh, making it black. So that's a little bit more visible with the black. I'm just gonna drop it down so it has lesser interference with that tree. So now I'm happy with how everything looks and is interacting. Um, there is a page in this album template that has spots for journaling for um, each individual photo. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick side-by-side um, view of what the first spread would look like in this album. It's a really nice and clean album, especially if you're going, going to be doing the whole year of photos. Um, it's a good way to keep a really consistent looking book, uh, not, not something that's too frilly. I am going to be doing a new template for every single month of 2010 so that if you start with this template, you can follow it through for the rest of the year. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully it gives you some ideas of how to do your Project 365 and get those photos cataloged for the whole year. Be sure to visit designhousedigital.com for more 365 ideas and a 365 challenge through the year.